Race of the afternoon. Race one in your programme. We get 20, Alan Dan, 32, Terry Howe, 36, Roy Gom, 76, John Dormer, 84, P. Morris. No, P. Morris, I believe, is a non-starter. 143, Keith Richards, 229, Richie Knight, 300, Terry Giles, and 131, Alan Carman. Trying to start his orders on the line there. No, Keith Richards not yet come into line. A little bit of a hold up, somebody coming in from the pits. Take up his place on the line. For the first race of the 1991 Sussex Super, incorporating left hand sidecar British Championship final round. The tapes go and the bikes head down towards the first turn. Richie Knight and John Dormer get to that turn side by side. Richie Knight pulls a wheelie and John Dormer nips up the inside. John Dormer then in front from Richie Knight in second place. Round the turn they come in. I think it's Paul Morris, not sure, but he's, I thought I gave Manners a non-starter earlier. But there he is. Ah, he's a non-starter in the 350 class. Obviously only got his 250 here this afternoon. But he comes past Ricky Knight on the inside. Ricky Knight on the Terry Howe. And Terry Alan Carman, Pete Richards, Roy Gong. And Alan Dan. Well, the uh, Richie Knight's third place looks in trouble as uh, Terry Howe and Terry Giles both go by, one either side, and Richie Knight becomes a filling with the sandwich. 76, John Dormer, from 84, Paul Morris. From 86, John Dormer, from 84, Richard And Alan Carman. And Roy Dom and Alan Dan on their last match, then entering the last turn for the last time. Looking over to my left, and here comes John Dormer in full flight. Paul Morris, hard on his inside, but it's a win for John Dormer from Paul Morris. Terry Howe, Keith Richards, Alan Carman, Roy Dom, and Fourth place, 229, Richie Knight. In fifth place, 32, Terry Howe. In sixth place, 143, Keith Richards. In 7th place, 131, Alan Carman. In 8th place, 36, Roy Gom. In 9th place, number 20, Alan Dan. No 10th finisher, the winner's time, 1 minute 23.34. If we can, quickly from the top, 76, 84, 300, 229, 32, 143, 131, 36 and 20, 1 minute 23.34. Into the second race of the afternoon, and in this one we get 26, Mark Childs, 44, Dean Camier, 49, John Pilcher, 21, Tommy Palmer, 71, Arthur Livings, 139, David Mears, 154, Adrian Moa, 228, Wayne Andrews, 344, Mark Wadsworth, and 158, Mike Appleton. And away they go, right on time there, heading down towards the first turn. John Pilcher coming up hard on the inside there to try and take the lead and his front wheel slides away, he's taken them all wide, he's got the motor on and he's coming around the turn with Mark Wadsworth. Then young Tommy Palmer, then Adrian Moe, then Mark Wadsworth, then Tommy Palmer, Good to see Adrian Moe back on a 250, he hasn't ridden one for some time but when he does ride one he really gives it the beans. Mark Wadsworth then walking away from the rest of the field, big battle on there in second place. And then David Mears, then Mark Giles, and Arthur Livings. Well, Mark Wadsworth showing every inch why he is the British champion and has been so many times. Really cuts a nice tight line around Then Mike Appleton, Wayne Andrews, Mark Giles, David Mears and Arthur Livings. The last turn for the last time and Mark Wadsworth pulling that bike in ever tighter right on those pegs. Tom Palmer. Tom Palmer. Tom Palmer. And Paul Randall. Also in this one, number 13, John Halsey. And Chris Skipper. Another additional runner, 101, Kevin Gillen and Joe Wright. Number 44, 
Alan Murray and Graham Reynolds. Number 50, Ian and Rob McCauley. Number 88, Mike Baxter and Jay Martin. And number 17, Dave Steer and Mick Cave. That's the line up for race number five. Coming to the line now. There's a bit of a hold up on the line. Perhaps somebody's gone into a position they shouldn't have. You can see the uh, program's got all the uh, A, B, C, D, E, F and G next to the rider's name. So that's the position they go to on the start line. Cameron and Paul Randall in second place at the moment. Dave Steer and Mick Cave lead. They make a few mistakes, but they keep it tight around the turn. Mick Cameron and Paul Randall closing up the gap. Then John Holsey holding third. Then the McCallies. Then Alan Murray and Graham Reynolds. And around they go. Dave Steer and Mick Cave holding the advantage at the moment. Mick Cameron and Paul Randall setting their sights on the back wheel of. Number 17 is Mick Cater. Uh, Dave Steer seems to momentarily pack up and I'm not sure they have trouble or not there. And, uh, certainly something seems to be going wrong and Dave Steer going wide. I think the uh, driver wants to go and the passenger wants to stop. So I'm not sure what's happening there, but Mick Cameron gets into the lead. I think the passenger's grab rail may have snapped or something. He's got nothing to hold on to and uh, he has a soldier. Cameron and Paul Randall and John Holsey coming up in the second place. Or is there a puncture in that rear end? I'm not too sure what's the matter there on that uh, third place sidecar outfit. Definitely got some kind of trouble. But he's holding third place despite it. The checkered flag comes out this time for number 151. One, 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 John Holsey. And Chris Skipper in second place. Then Dave Steer and Mick Cave get a third despite their problems. Well, all action in these right-hand sidecars. Murray and Graham Reynolds. In fifth place, number 50, Ian and Rob McCauley. In sixth place, number 88, Mike Baxter and Jay Martin. And in seventh place, number 101, Kevin Gillen and Joe Wright. The winner's time was 1 minute 34.75. From the top, 151, 13, 17, 44, 50, 88 and 101. 1 minute 34.75, 350cc solo, straight underway. Good to see we've got two heats and a final to come today, or three legs of two heats and a final today. That's coming down there very fast. Seventy-one Arthur Divins missed out 66 Steve King, sorry about that, and 20 Alan Dan at the back. Well, those positions remaining unchanged at the moment as Jonathan Duke comes up to try and challenge the British 350cc champion. Number 50, Ian and Rob McCauley. Number 54, Andy Riley, in second place. Jonathan Duke unable to make too much ground at the moment, but perhaps he's just sizing him out for the final. You never know with young Jonathan. Oh, 
is Arthur Living's and Alan Dan all on two stroke bikes. Number 336 still back to the front of the green in the middle. Quick change from the last lap flag to the second lane. Then they go for the British champion. 54. Andy Ryan is from 21. Jonathan Duke. Then 344. The first 350 ride of the afternoon, that was a win for the current British champion, number 54, Andy Riley. In second place, number 25, Jonathan Duke. In third place, number 344, Mark Wadsworth. In fourth place, number 17, David Homan. In fifth place, number 66, Steve King. In sixth place, number 71, Arthur Livings. And in seventh place, number 20, Alan Dan. No other finishes. The winner's time, 1 minute 21.16. From the top, 54, 25, 344, 17, 66, 71, and 20, 1 minute, 21.16. Well, it's 3.50s away again already before I had a chance to say anything. A very slow start there for Trevor Banks, who's in fifth place at the moment, but fighting his way through. Must be Neil Scopes from Essex. Neil Scopes from the Eastern Centre. Holding fourth place at the moment. Looks like bike's in need of a bit more horsepower as he gets left behind a bit on those straights. Paul Watson, Mark Giles and Neil Emmett. As I said earlier, good to see so many 350cc machines here today. Seem to be a bit of a dying class, but to get this many here for a national... Paul Watson and the limit. 15, 14, 139, 2, 26, 27, 331 and 58. Winners time, 1 minute 21.25. On we go with race number 8. This is a left-hand sidecar, British Championship, first leg. So the competition really starts in earnest here. In this race we get number 2, Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw. Number 24, Tom Penfold and Liam Chivers. One, two, three, Dave Penfold and Steve Farmer. Number 174, Duncan Fish. It says here Chris Harrison, but Emma Cree was seen to be practicing with Duncan Fish there earlier. And number 151, Graham Hilton and Dominic Doyle. Away they go then, down that first straight. It's, it's Dave Penfold and Steve Farmer that hit the turn first. With a brave try from young Tommy Penfold and he's given to go around the outside. Looks like he's riding Neville's feathers. Tom Penfold and Liam Chivers trying to come up on the inside, but it's Dave Penfold and Steve Farmer that lead at the moment. Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw sitting back there in third. Straight now, Dave Penfold. Dave Penfold takes his hand in hand. Fighting fast now for this British left-hand sidecar drivers' championship. Tom Penfold goes very, very wide there, and uh, Liam Chivers has trouble to keep it in a straight line. Gives Dave Penfold and Steve Farmer a better advantage as they come round that turn. They're looking good here this afternoon. Last lap, goes. From Tom Penfold and Liam Chivers, then Bill Penfold. Then 151, Graham Elton and Dominic Doyle, and then number 174, Duncan Fish and Emma Cree. Round they come then, the second leg goes, Dave Penfold and Steve Farmer, from Tom Penfold and Liam Chivers, and then way back with problems, number two, Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw. 
those machines now coming into line. Obviously, they've got a bother down there by the start, but uh, sure we'll be underway in a moment. If you get bored, you can nip across to one of our catering vans and get yourself a burger. And there's a bar as well, so uh, I'm sure you can uh, find yourself some entertainment here this afternoon. So there's a fish and chip van as well. Well, where are we going? Oh, I hope it's a chip van. Bob and Keith Miles really fly off the line there. And uh, Terry Patchell's dragging son Luke up the uh, first straight on that bike, but uh, he hasn't realised that his uh, passenger wasn't on board. Back through the middle of the straight, 108, Robin Pete Miles lead, however, from 173. John Those two run away from the rest of the field, and John Arnott with Russell Steele there in trouble. So round they come then, 108. Terry and Luke Patchell after a dramatic first straight. Shows where their eyes are of that driver. He's not looking at the passenger, was he, when he went up that straight? John Arnott definitely got some trouble there. Seems to be holding his car brothers on him. Come on, Robin Keith Wilde, Ron John Fish and Gary they came into this race. He desperately needs to get past Bob Miles and he comes up on the inside. Is he going to get there? John Arnott now gets in the way. It could be trouble, but no, they're all by safely. John Fish gets out in front then to hold on to those points. The same points as Ernie's got as he can get round here. Bob Miles gets up on the inside. From Bob and Keith Miles in second place. Bob and Keith Miles in second place. It's John Arnott. And 188. Well, drama all the way through this weekend so far. Never can a dull race go by. 173, 108, 41, 88. Sorry, 41, 188. 251, no six finisher, 1 minute 30, point five nine. Very interesting race that, and uh, short that whoever wins the left-hand sidecar championship at the end of the day is going to put in some fair dinkum riding to have done it. On we go to race number 11, and this is the first outing this afternoon of the big solos, the 500cc solo fraternity. Come out in force in this one. Number 2, Trevor Banks. 12, Stuart Dempsey. 38, Dave Wright. 68, Owen Farmer. 111, Jason Hilliard. 10, Darren Sutton. 215, Steve Wilson. 331, Paul Watson. And 773, Richard Musson. And the solos go underway down the first straight. Stuart Dempsey gets a flying start. Trevor Banks comes up on the inside. No lack of horses in the 500cc machine for Trevor, but he can only hold third place at the moment. If Steve Wilson goes wide. Trevor Banks is the inside. From Steve Wilson. Trevor Banks right around the outside on that turn, and Stuart Dempsey goes off with problems. Steve Wilson nips out on the inside there and keeps in sight of Trevor Banks. Trevor Banks leads. Trevor from Folkestone. Top See Jason Hilliard coming through now trying to take from fourth into third place but he didn't quite get there that time. Then Paul Watson. Jason Hilliard again tries on the inside. Look at that battle for third place. Trevor Banks is out on his own and gone. And Steve Wilson thinks the race must have been stopped. Uh, so that he's going in front of him. Second place goes to Trevor Banks. Second place, 2-1-5. Steve Wilson to the balance. Jason Hilliard. Then Paul Watson. 8-1-1. Triple one. Three, three, one. No other finishes. 1 minute 18.59. Race number 12 we go into. They're on the line there and ready to go. Down the first straight they go. No time for list of riders this time. Pick them up though as they come round. Tommy Palmer seemed to get a flying start there. Number 21 Tommy Palmer but he slips back a couple of places on the first turn. Adrian Lowers come out in front. 
the capacity of that pack of riders at the front there, especially that middle bump fighting the third, fourth and fifth places. Look at them coming around there now. Pretty as a picture. Tom Palmer really fighting to hold his place, but he gets becomes a filling in the sandwich. Same as with United. I'm not sure on this man's first name. I've got a phone it's Phil Morris, not Paul Morris. Somebody will tell me before the day's out, I'm sure. Round they come, 54. Andy Riley takes the last back flag. Back another place. It's all action here. As they enter the last turn, for the last time, it looks clean cut at the moment for number 54, Andy Riley. From the top, 54, 84, 154, 04, 21, 29, 758, 143, 214 and 351. Winner's time, 1 minute 18.60. Just compare those two times of race 11 and race 12. 1 minute 18.9, 1 minute 18.60. Very, very close indeed. So the 500cc solos take that place on the line to do battle again. And number three, Chris Tritton, 244, Ben Howe, 46, Will James, 74, Duncan Tullis, 141, John Cook, 132, Mike Beaumont, 187, Justin Shaw, 336, Phil Buckley, and 971, Dean Norton. That's the lineup for race number 13 on the line now. Doesn't look like that number of riders on the line. They're a little bit short in solo numbers this afternoon. The revs rise, the smoke goes, the tapes fly, and the bikes go down towards the first turn. 46, Will James guns up alongside Duncan Tollers in the first turn. Will James squirts the power on early and comes out of the turn in first place. Duncan Tollers. Okay, from 74, Duncan Tollers, then number three, Chris Tritton, then 244, Ben Howe. Those four slow pulling away now from the rest of the field. Nothing slow on the front line though. Cornishman 46, Will James gives it the big one. And Phil Buckley bringing up the rear. Will James seems to lose a little bit of ground and Duncan Tyler makes up the odd yard there as they come round next round. Pulls away now from Duncan Tollers. <laughs> Round the turn they come. 46. Will James. <laughs> first race of the afternoon and then number 74 Duncan Tollers in the second. Follow by number three Chris Tritton, 244 Ben Howe. So it looks like race 14 we could be without young Tommy Palmer. The main riders come into line and away they go down the first straight then. A good start by the reigning British champion 344 Mark Wadsworth and hot on his heels into the first turn is 76 John Dormer. He was indeed second in this year's British Championship final. Look at John Dormer trying to go around the outside of Mark Wadsworth. He's all over Mark's bike but he couldn't quite get there. Mark Wadsworth gains a few yards down that straight and into that next turn. A very tight rider is Mark Wadsworth. He hardly ever comes off the inside. 44, Mark Wadsworth, 70 years old. Mark Wadsworth, 70 Keith Richards, Arthur Livins and Roy Gong. Mark Giles comes up into third place there past Wayne Andrews who uh, seems to be caught napping. Four, four. Mark Wadsworth, 
Arthur Living's 36. Roy Don bringing up the rear. Well, those front two certainly showing their class over the rest of the field here at the moment as they walk away from the opposition. Mike Appleton's fine half to come through. Three seconds they go. Four seconds on this afternoon for three, four, four. Mark Second place. Followed by Mount Giles, Wayne Andrews, and Holding third at the moment. Nick is in front of Richie Knight for second place. Goes after Terry Giles, who's at the moment in the lead. So, Terry Giles, after a disastrous first ride, comes back with a vengeance in his second ride. Drifts a little bit wide there. Phil Morris gets on the inside. What's going to happen? John Pilcher, Alan Carman and Alan Dan. Terry Giles inches a few more yards ahead of Phil Morris, but Phil Morris catching up on the inside there as they come round that turn. Terry Giles just a bit wide, Phil Morris again comes up on the inside. Terry, they call him Yogi at the bit. From Phil Morris. Phil Morris now comes up on the inside, comes up alongside Terry Giles, but it wasn't quite enough that time. It's the last turn for the last time. Phil Morris has gone for the inside, comes right underneath him, winds the throttle on, head towards the middle of the car. John Pilcher, Alan Carman, and Alan Dan. 49, 1.3120, 1.22.16. on the line then and we have 151 Mick Cameron and Paul Randall taking the place of number two number one involved in John Mitchell. We have 13 John Halsey and Chris Skipper, 38 Richard Brown and Steve Bassett, 51 Roger Mieser and Steve Bailey, 87 Richard Jenner and Nick Waters, number one Rob Cameron and Steve Smith and number 101 Kevin Skinnett and Joe Ryan. The winners from the round the outside on that turn, but he doesn't get there. 51, Roger Mieser and Steve Bailey lead. From 151, Mick Cameron and Paul Randall in second place. Then number 13, John Halsey and Chris Skipper. Mm -hmm. And 101, Kevin Gillen and Joe Wright. Round the turn they're coming and it's number 51. Roger Mieser, second in the British Masters again this year. And now distance ahead of Mick Cameron, ahead of John Halsey, ahead of Richard Jenner, ahead of Kevin Ginnett. Round he comes in, 51, Roger Mieser and Steve Bailey. Take the last one day, not one by one, Mick Cameron and Paul Rand. John Halsey and Chris Skipper. So all action on the front line as Roger Mieser goes for his second win of the afternoon. Round the turn very fast indeed. The checkered play goes to win the 51. Roger Mieser and Steve Bailey from 151. Mick Cameron and Paul Randall from John Halsey and Chris Skipper. Then Richard Jenner.
17 on the line then. Under starter's orders. So we've got a bit of a roller and he's going to have to get back off the plank for tonight. John here's got the chain hat. And the ball is now in trouble with our outfit. Ian and Robert McCauley and uh, got a bit of a bit of trouble. Once again, you're going to need one hold up to cause a few more. Bob Basby there was a second and old here we get a bit of a mishap and Bob Basby's rolled over and the outfits, three outfits all locked together there. Dave Steer seemed to have trouble into that turn and the other riders were left with just nowhere to go. that track and to kindly stay you know only family and very close people should be in attendance there the St John's won't be able to get to the people to do the job if you all crowd so spectators please remain where you are. Dave Steer and Mick Cave are back in there Ken Lane and Mark Edwards are also there Rob Wilson and Tony Miles I think I can see there and uh, Ian across the corner Bob Bainsby Basically, they're all there. Into the leader going goes number seven, Ken Lane and Mark Edwards, followed very closely by number 17, Dave Steer and Mick Cave. Then Bob Basby coming through to take Dave Steer on the inside. Let's go into that turn, Bob and Paul Basby there, trying to take that second place. Round they come, number seven, Ken Lane and Mark Edwards. On the Following the best of afternoons and then the camera, uh, Rob Wilson there tucking up on the inside comes right up into second place past Bob Basley and Dave Steer in one easy movement and then McCall has come past Dave Steer as well. <laughs> and half distance and it's Ken Lane from Rob Wilson, from Bob Basley, from Dave Steer, from John Hiscock, from Ian and Bob McCauley at the back, but at the front it's number seven, Ken Lane and Mark Edwards. Their second win of the afternoon, keep them on level points with Roger Meza. And it's over, over goes number 17, Dave Steer and McCave. It's just not their day at all. The checkered flag goes. Ken Lane wins, 24. Rob Wilson comes second, then 60 Bob Baseby. Then 184, John Hiscock. Well, that was disaster struck yet again the third this afternoon for number 17. Dave Steer and McCave. Right, number 18 is underway then, and down they come in. Four seconds, Jerry Adams there. Crossing the driver of the passenger up again, and my lane retreat. Jerry Adams and Sean Pittock hold in second. Pete Colvin and Adam Coper Smith there in third. So round they come then, it's number six. Jerry Adams and Sean Pettock in second, then Pete Colvin and Adam Coper Smith, then Alan Murray and Graham Reynolds. Running still leads. Matt Smith now over Jerry Adams in second. Battle hopping up there now for third place. Tim Bennett, Jason Benny in fifth. Taking 
the last lap taken. It's number six, Russell Egan, all the way. Very colourful combination from 55. There's a bit of an end battle there for third. As Pete Colvin drifts a little bit wide, and Alan Murray tries to come up on the inside. Benny and Aram and Ian Rowan, Tim Bennett and Jason Glennie. Right back to John Mars in the back. For the win, the Russell Ian Racing Team, Russell Ian Glorious. In second place, Gary Adams, Jules Smith, and Pete Colvin and Alan Pope Smith. Then Alan Murray, Brian Reynolds, Ian Aram and Ian Rowan, Tim Bennett, and Jason Lamont. 1 minute 28.03. Faster, even, and Roger Zach. Over the page we go, it's the 350cc Solo Boys back out in full force and this time it's Jonathan Duke that leads, he was second in his first ride to Andy Riley but he's beating this one by Raymond so starting Jason comes up and he's Mark Giles, Paul Watson, Phil Buckley and Arthur Livings, that's the lineup as they come back. Jonathan Duke chasing hard after Martin Jacobs, Martin Jacobs a very quick man from the East Centre Come down to the most picturesque grass track of them all. Here are both of them. Back of the car. Back of the bin. Bill Buckley. Martin Jacobs leading there from Jonathan Duke. Probably our strongest 350cc rider in this centre. On their last lap in it, Martin Jacobs. Martin Jacobs is long gone in this one. Entering the last turn for the last time. Jonathan Duke picks up a few yards as they come around that turn. A good win for number 14, Martin Jacobs. From 25, Jonathan Duke. Away they go then, number 20. Non-starter in this one, Chris Norris and Paul Morris. They're the non-starters in this one, but uh, Mark Wadsworth takes the lead. Our reigning 250cc British champion. From 54, Andy Riley, the current 350 British champion. Mark Wadsworth hanging on to Grim Death with that little two-stroke machine there, and holding on Neil Scopes, but Neil Scopes goes any outside. Mark Wadsworth gains a few yards into that turn, makes Neil Scopes fight all the way, the mighty two stroke lead. Mark Wadsworth, but Mark Wadsworth has to let Neil Scopes go by in the end. Neil Scopes leads, Mark Wadsworth in a second, and Mark Wadsworth comes back at him, comes right up on the inside, takes the lead again. Mark Wadsworth and Neil Scopes then side by side. Look at that front line battle as Mark Wadsworth again comes up the inside of Neil Scopes. They're coming round this time to take that chequered flag. Around the last turn they come. Will it be a win for the man on the two-stroke? Andy Riley's coming in. Mark Wadsworth the win. And Andy Riley looking down at his regime. Then the back. 217 Philippa Richard Davis, 108 Bob and Keith Miles. And away they go, and Bob and Keith Miles again get a flying star, but only Penfold comes up on the outside. John Fish just walked past the pair of them like they were all standing still. John Fish really tight around that turn. Only Penfold closes up the gap, gunning the car. John Fish tries to go around the outside, but have that look on his face like he really means it here this afternoon. He tries to go on the outside, but it's a long way round. Can he get there? John Fish holding a tight line. It's him and Ernie side by side as they go down there. Ernie Penfold takes the advantage into the turn, but John Fish leaves the break in late and comes through. John Fish again, two-point advantage over Ernie Penfold. Round they come then. Bob Miles relegated back to third position, but... John Fish and Gary Moore got a, a good lead on at the moment. Ernie Penfold pulling wheelies behind him trying to catch up. This is the British Championship, the biggest thing in left hand sidecar grass track. And then the man wants to the Throwing that machine round there, trying to make up those lost yards. 
John Fisher and Gary Moore a neat line to that corner. Only Penvold comes up on the inside now. It's going to be very, very close when they get to the finish. And into the last turn they go. The checkered flag now being made ready. Tony Penfold's got trouble. 173, John Fisher going right. Paul Bolton comes off the machine there. Hurdy's on his way to the outside of the course. <laughs> Paul Bolton up and OK. Only Penfold there on the finish line. But, uh... Away they go again then. It's race number 22 this time. Another flying start for 126, Martin Cuff and Richard Edwards. Remember they came second to Ernie first time out. They put in a good ride. Then 251, John Arnott, Russell Field. Oh, And 27, Brian and Clyde Holland. <laughs> Round they come then, 1, 2, 6. Martin Cuff and Richard Edwards. <laughs> Duncan Fish and Emma Cree. Then 27, Brian and Clyde Holland. Bringing up the rear. One, two, six. Very now. So as they come into the last turn, for the last time. This is where Martin tends to tire a little bit, but he seems to have got his wits about him this time. Never take those. That's a win for Martin Cuff and Richard Edwards. From 251, John Arnold. <laughs> so another race to try and sort out some of the men's on the boys. And away they go, and it's Dave Penfold and Steve Farmer that lead. Luke and Terry Patchell there in second place, closing up a lot of ground there already on the leader. Terry Patchell. Then Tommy Penfold and Liam Chivers. Then Billy Penfold and Chris Berwick. Graham Hilton and Dominic Doyle coming through from the back, taking the broken down outfit of Tommy Penfold. Terry and Luke Patchell, and they're gaining a lot of ground on Dave Penfold as they go down that straight. They really could come on terms with this man on this turn. Very fast indeed, they come around, and Terry Patchell's gone for the outside line rounds. Dave Penfold and Steve Graham Hilton and Dominic Doyle then, Billy Penfold and Chris Berwick at the back. But watch this last turn. It could be all or nothing round here from Terry Patchell, and I think it will be as he comes right underneath Dave Penfold. Dave Penfold locks right round and the machines come to a halt in the middle of the track. The other flags go up. This could be a win for Billy Penfold or Graham Hilton as they come up to the checkered flag. That should be a win for number 23. <laughs> Billy Penfold and Chris Berwick. In second place, number 151, Graham Hilton and Dominic Doyle. Cornishman, Will James, and 54, Andy Riley. That's those three all on 13 points apiece. 13 points here for a win in the solo class. 13 points each. Numbers 2, 46, and 54. Bit of trouble with the tapes, I fear, down there on the line. So Trevor Banks goes in this one put himself on his way to maximum points towards the final. Well, it's Phil Morris that gets away first with Trevor Banks hard on his heels in second place. Around the turn they come. Trevor Banks winds it up and goes right around the outside. Phil Morris takes the Phil Morris is going to be in second place. Paul Watson, John Cook. And Paul Steibritz at the back. Trevor Banks leads then. Phil Morris is right hard on his heels. In fact, 
front wheels nearly up Trevor's exhaust pipe as they come round that turn. Paul Watson and Paul Steibritz. Trevor Banks pulls a few yards clear of Phil Morris, but Phil Morris fights back. Around the turn they come to see that last match back in front of Trevor Banks. Phil Morris is trying hard. Then 29, Paul Mitchell. This is one final. This is Will Simmons. This is Phil Banks now. Extended lead at the end of the last turn for the last time in this National Sussex Super event. Matt, here we go. Maximum points so far. Will Morris a creditable second. Another credible third there, Dave. John Wilson, Phil Bunchley and Richard no, away they go, down that far straight, Ricky Sanford leads, Will James comes from third up to second, Tommy Palmer going from second down to third, Will James goes to third. Tommy Palmer and Will James, Will James working up trying to catch up with Tommy Palmer but not making a lot of ground there, Ben Howell comes past Keith Richards to take fourth place. 04, Ricky Sanford then turns up a bit. All four then now. The inside of Tom Palmer. Tom Palmer fights back on the inside, nearly touches Will James as Will James locks up badly out of that turn, causing Tom to shut the throttle and lose a few yards. Round next to 04, Ricky Sanford. Keith Richards, 214, John Wilson and 336. That's 244, Ben Howe catches up with 21. Tommy Palmer, Van Ecke, and the second place, Tommy Palmer in third. 43, 214, and 336. Winner's time, 1 minute 17.41. On to race number 26 and we get number 3, Chris Tritton, 12, Stuart Dempsey, 54, Andy Riley, 74, Duncan Thomas, 111, Jason Yard, 154, Adrian Noah, 187, Justin Shaw, 758, Mark, 971, Dean Norton, up the first straight they go. Duncan Thomas going into the lead on the first turn. Being hotly pursued there and <laughs> trying to ride right on the outside of Chris Tritton goes up to third, Andy Riley chases after the leader Duncan Tollers, Duncan Tollers leads, Andy Riley in second, then number three, Chris Tritton. Andy Riley leads, Duncan Tollers there in second, then Chris Tritton in third, so the South Eastern Centre in second and third places at the moment. Then Mark Chessel, then Adrian Mower. And round they come, very quick. 54, and right. Adrian Mower, Stuart Dempsey bringing up the rear at the moment. Andy Riley leads in. Remember, he is the reigning 350cc British champion. These are, of course, the 500cc bikes. And he rides this with extreme ease. 54, Andy Riley DC class of the 1991 Sussex Super. Twelve years old today and, uh, as I said, some extremely good riders won this event on their way to stardom. Good start by Tommy Palmer, but he's looking down at that moment as he uh, drops back to fourth place. Round the turn they come, 300, Terry Giles has a fast wide outside line, but John Stormer comes up to the side. Young Tommy Palmer, young Tommy Palmer getting himself up into his second place past Terry Giles and sets his sights on John Dormer, catching him up very quick down round that turn. 76, John Dormer, from 21, Tommy Palmer. John Dormer, and Tommy Palmer lifts up the inside, comes up to the outside. 
So John Dormer will have to get his finger out now. Tom Palmer's on his way. It's 76. John Dormer from 21. Tommy Palmer. Remember, he didn't get his machine going for the second leg. Disaster struck there. He probably needs to win this race to ensure his place in the final. John Dormer leading and Tom Palmer comes right up again. He challenges around that turn. It's the last turn. It's now or never for Tom Palmer to get past John Dormer. Trying a long way right around the outside. He's flat out and going there, but he's not going to get there. David Bailey on top will be riding with Ernie Penfold for the rest of the meeting in the left hand side car class so that'll be Ernie Penfold and David Bailey that's number 25 Tony Penfold's normal passenger riding with Ernie for the rest of the afternoon. 250's in leave the line and go down towards the first turn that's Mark Wadsworth that screams into the lead with Wayne Andrews in second place. Phil Morris comes up into third. Mark Wadsworth then, from Phil Morris, from Adrian Mower, from Wayne Andrews, that's the front <laughs> four at the moment, Alan Carmen's there, then John Pilcher, Roy Gom, Arthur Livings and Alan Dan. Nice tight line, that's Mark Wadsworth. Certainly the master of the 80s and he runs into the 90s. Mark Wadsworth from Phil Morris who's gaining a few yards on him around that turn but I'm sure that's a steady rate of the start of the year after the top. Mark Wadsworth from Phil Norris from 1548 Mark Wadsworth on the last lap as they enter the last turn for the last time coming across from my left we will see 344 Mark Wadsworth Taking the second place from 84, Phil Morris. 154, Adrian Mower. We've got the man who, after two legs, I believe, is still sitting on maximum points. Number seven, Ken Lane and Mark Edwards. The confirmation of that these are unofficial points. These are unofficial points. Number seven then, Ken Lane and Mark Edwards. 13, John Halsey and Chris Skipper. 44, Alan Murray and Brian Reynolds. 50, Ian and Bob McCall. The A.A. My back, Dan Martin. 17, Dave Kieran and Taylor Dunn. 18, Mark Lane. John Halsey makes the break and Chris Skipper to the first place first. It's number 13, John Halsey and Chris Skipper from uh, so far maximum man. Number seven, Ken Lane and Mark Edwards. John Halsey had enough motor on to hold on to first position. John Halsey and Chris Skipper then. From number seven goes up the inside, comes flying by to take the lead. Number seven, Ken Lane. Ken Lane and Mark Edwards. Just a little bit wider, John. Chris Skipper fight on the inside line and thinks to go past again and take the lead. But Ken Lane drifts wide, cuts back and nips up the inside to take the lead again. They're each changing hands so many times already. This time it looks so like Ken Lane has got that lead. Ken Lane and Mark Edwards taking the last back flag. Then Alan Murray and Graham Reynolds. Then Ian and Rob McCauley. Then Mike Baxter and John Martin. Mike Baxter back out of retirement, retired at the end of last season, but he's already back and training in a new passenger. Round the turn they come, and it's number seven, Ken Lane and Mark Edwards the win. From John Aldi and Chris Kipper in a good second place. Then Alan Murray and Graham Reynolds. What? This is straight number 30. Pete Colvin and Roger Mesa go to the first turn first. Roger Mesa takes a slight advantage out of that turn. Pete Colvin fights on, it drifts a little bit wide and lets Mick Cameron up on the inside. So it's 51 and 151. 
99 and 87, only four in this race. Round they come then, 51. Colt, one by one, Mick Cameron and Paul Randall. From 99, Pete Colvin and Adam Tucker Smith. And then 87, Richard Jenner and Nick Waters. Well, he must be the flying favourite here this afternoon to take this event by storm. 51, what do you mean? The other man on maximum points is number seven, Ken Lane, so they should line up as the two favourites to do battle in the final. Meanwhile, Mick Cameron and Paul Randall trying to close that gap between themselves and Roger Meeser and Steve Bailey. Roger Meeser and Steve Bailey, they can ask that man from Mick Cameron and Paul Randall then, Pete Holden, Adam Coder Smith, and 87, Rich Jenner. Well, Mick Cameron seems to be able to do nothing to close that gap with Roger Misa. As they enter the last turn for the last time. Around that turn they come, the checkered flag goes down. Steve Bailey from Mick Cameron and Paul Randall. From 99, Pete Colvin and a... The finalists will be decided on points after this ride. Still in front as they enter that next turn. 24, Rob Wilson and Tony Miles. Six, seven, eight, four, eight, and then Bob Bates being full base. Jerry Adams, Sean Pettit, John Hitchcock, and Shane Lapham, Jason Lenny, and Aramani and Rowan. That's the order at the moment, and John Hitchcock comes up alongside Jerry Adams to take that fourth place. Jerry Adams fights back and holds on. So, all that is this place. That's all your ears, then Bob Baseby, with Paul Baseby, the brother in the chair there. I don't know what we say in the chair with these right-handers, they spend very little time in the chair, they're either on the back of the bike or down the side of it. Never actually in the chair. Look around they come, the last lap they go. Bob Wilson. Bob Wilson. Bob Wilson. Bob Wilson. Bob Wilson. John S. Cock and Shane Lapham, Tim Bennett, Jason Glennie and Aramie and Rowan at the back at the moment. As they come round the last turn, for the last time, rustling seems to catch up a bit of ground, but it's not enough. It's the wind four, number 24. Yep, 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 Absent line Beaumont today, so I don't think you can get 139 David Pierce, 336 Bill Buckley, 331 Paul Watson, and number 2, Trevor Banks. Well, leaving off the line, and away they go, and we get number 139 in first place, and then number 2, Trevor Banks holding second at the moment. Trevor Banks turns the motor on, tries to come in the outside of David David Mears leads from Trevor Banks on a 350cc Jack. An old Jack there in second place. Comes up on the inside, tries to go up the side on the side of David Mears, but he doesn't quite get there. The old Jack just hasn't quite got the legs in it. But doing very well for such an age of the team. Good old days. So a bank tail has a bank tail, 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 a bank t
139, David Mears leads. Trevor Banks there fighting away in second place. It's the last turn for the last time now. The checkered flag being made ready and Trevor Banks making all my stunts. Try and go right around the outside. 139, David Mears. Now to sort the men out from the boys. Race 33, underway. Down that first straight they go. And it looks like Andy Riley that goes into the lead with Jonathan Duke hard on his outside. Jonathan Duke comes back by looking up on the inside. Jonathan Duke. Tom Martin Jacobs, then Mark Wadsworth, then Neil Scopes, then David Homan, Neil Emmett, and Arthur Evans. Well, very quick round there, 54, Andy Riley, 25. And Neil Scopes back in fourth place. A man who was sitting on maximum points at the start of this race is now back in fourth place. Andy Riley, the other man. British champion, two years running, Andy Riley. Leads from Martin Jacobs. Jonathan Duke in a good third. Neil Scopes in fourth. Mark Rockford fifth. Ernie Penfold and Paul Bolton in that earlier race. Now Ernie Penfold changes passenger to David Bailey. Let's see what fortune it brings in. This is race 34, they're underway. They're going down that first straight. It's 126. Martin Cuff and Richard Edwards again making a brilliant start. One win and a second place to their credit so far this afternoon. Get making some very good points. Twenty-three. Then Billy Penfold and uh, Chris Berwick holding on to third place. They had a win earlier. Round they come in one. From John Arnott and Russell Steele holding a good second place. I've said it many times this season that John certainly put in some good rides with Paul Bolton and with Russell Steele, and he's gone from strength to strength this season. Turn to become one of the crews to be reckoned. One, two, three, three, three. Comes up on the outside. Still out on Russell Steele. Run right around the outside. Taking Martin Cuff and Richard Edwards. Relegating them to second position. I do feel that he's a puncher there for Graham Hilton. I do feel that Martin Cuff tires a little bit on the last lap. He's fighting back though. He's trying to come around the outside. He's not very wide. And Russell Steele from Russell <laughs> Away we go then, race number 35. Only three outfits in this one, and uh, Bob and Keith Miles have leapt into the lead with Terry Patchell, Terry and Luke Patchell there in second place, and Ernie Penfold with David Bailey at the moment at the back. Then 188, Terry and Luke Pashaw there, holding second, and Ernie Penfold with David Bailey holding third. Ernie seems to be losing his grip on the title as he uh, rides around here in third place. He came here as firm favourite, joint in the lead. Slip two points earlier on to John Fish. Really the title. Yeah, first to last place. Now he's just got to get past Terry and Luke Patchell. And that's no big speed as we've seen before. Terry and Luke Patchell then. From Ernie and Penfold and David Bailey. Funny how Ernie and uh, Terry Patchell, they only come out for this British Championship this year. They don't seem to have written anything out. And they seem to be out for the Ernie Penfold and Luke Patchell there. Ernie Penfold, the previous winner also of this 
qualifying British left hand drivers championship. So they're running better points in third place from this line. Checkered flag's going to come out this time. It's the last turn for the last time. Ernie Penfold in second place. Terry and Luke Patchell going for a win. And the way they go then, race number 36 it is, and straight in the lead went number 24, Tommy Penfold. And Liam Chivers in second place, 173. And Emma Cree, the lady sidecar passenger there. Only lady competing in this afternoon's event. Right in fourth place, very well at the moment. Number 24 then, Tommy Penfold and Liam Chivers lead from 173, John Fish and Gary Moore in second place. Duncan Fish and Emma Cree. Those places are nice as they go round. Quick look over his shoulder to see where the opposition is. Number 24, Tommy Penfold. Number 24, Tommy Penfold. John Fish and Gary Moore closing up a lot of ground on this last lap now as they come round the turn. Tommy Penfold and Liam Chivers go for the inside line. John Fish and Gary Moore stuck on in second place. Win for number 24. Tommy Penfold and Liam Chivers. Finish on the winner's time, 1 minute 28.35. From the top quickly, 24, 173, 27, 174. 1 minute 28.35. This is the 500 CC solos. All going before I was ready for them. Number 2, number 3. Two four four Ben Howe, and that's the order at the moment. Number two Trevor Banks really walking away from the rest of the field here in this one. Got that bit between his teeth, not riding his gap. Now. John Wilson, Bill Morris, Jason Hilliard, Duncan, uh, <laughs> Tommy Palmer. Paul Watson and Justin Shaw. Number three. On his back for 214 on his bike is in fact John Wilson. Check it back goes. Covank comes out of that last day. Race 37, from 38 to 39. Now, 84, Bill Morris. John Wilson, Tom Carter. Paul Watson, Justin Shaw. Line up for race number 38. And the start of the orders and away they go. And I see them break as they go down that first straight. Andy Riley it is that edges his way in front. Will James comes up the inside in to take the lead on the first turn. It's Will James from Andy Riley from Ricky Sanford. From Steve Wilson. leads. Andy Riley, the gamekeeper from Cheshire. Truly a national event here this afternoon with riders from all points of the country coming down to do battle in this, the Sussex Super. Well done, Andy Riley. Stuart Dempsey and Bill Buckley. Leads Andy Riley gains a few yards and tries to come up along on the inside. Holds the corner. Number four. Represented by Keith Richards. 
And Will James pulling up the wheelers on the inside of Andy Riley saying, you can't go by me. Will James then slides a little bit wide. Andy Riley cuts up the inside. The back of him. Very close there at the line. Will Ricky Sanford definitely is uh, 5-4, Adrian Mower. 1-3-2. He's not likely to appear, Mike Bowman. Then 7-5-8, Mark Kessel. And 3-5-1, Paul Stuybritz. Haven't seen Richard Musson this afternoon. Around the turn they come in. Duncan Tolo has the lead. He's giving it a big announcement. Paul Mitchell from the Brighton area. He's moved up to second place. Better South East are in first and second at the moment. And that Sussex man comes right up alongside the Kent man and takes the lead. It's 29, Paul Mitchell, the leads from 74, Duncan Tolos in second. Then number three from Canterbury, Chris Tristan, rolling on there in third. Comparatively quite a home runner. Duncan Tullis now about to be overtaken by Chris Tritton. Chris Tritton trying to go around the outside. Duncan Tullis squirting the power off. Duncan Tullis has been overtaken by Chris Tritton. Paul Mitchell leads. Duncan Tullis going in a few yards there. Then Chris Tritton holding a good, credible third at the moment. Then Mark Chesson. Seventy-four, Duncan Tullis. And we're going straight in with the 350 final. 54, Andy Riley must start hot favourite in this one. He is the current 350 champion. But Jonathan Duke steams into the lead on the first turn and he's just gone like a long dog. I thought he was trying him out in the earlier races and so he was. But Andy Riley... Jacob, Stewart, Jonathan Duke, Mark Wadsworth, Travel Banks on that old Jack, that old 350 Jack is in fifth place at the moment, he's just dropped back to 60 on Mark Wadsworth, but there's a few laps to go and the old Jack could build up some line there. Then Mark Wadsworth, then Travel Banks, Travel Banks comes up alongside Mark Wadsworth and goes by. Looks a little bit slow down that straight as Mark Wadsworth comes up alongside and takes, <laughs> takes the uh, left away. Yeah. 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 Banks again fights with Mark Wadsworth now for fourth and fifth place. And they're coming round the last turn for the last time already. Andy Riley Then David Mears, then Mark Giles. For those boys. That's the first car who's right heard today. That was brilliant. Music for my ears. Andy Riley, current national champion and winner of the 1991 Something Super. 344, 2, 139, 26, 17. 27, 331 and 71, 117.56. This is the left hand sidecar British Championship. And the riders are in there in points order. If you wrote them in the order I gave them to you. 173 John Fish is on top points at the moment, followed by 125 Ernie Penfold, only two points behind on the lead. Then 126, 251, 28, 23 and 24. Those riders coming to the line. This is the biggest thing in left hand sidecar grass track equal to the British Masters for the other classes. So watch this and find out who's going to be the left hand sidecar British champion for 1991. Which pair of those riders? Would it be John Fish and Gary Moore? Ernie Penfold and David Bayman. Martin Cuff and Richard Edwards. John Arnott and Russell Steele. Terry and Luke Patchell. Billy Penfold, Chris Berwick, or Tommy Penfold and Liam Shivers. So we're looking like a delayed start for the left-hand sidecar British Championship final, but everything must be in order. 
for this national championship. This is the second and final round, and today we will know who is going to be the 1991 British champion. Last year it was Terry and Luke Patchell. Terry and Luke Patchell. Last year, this year, who knows? They're away. A nice even break as they go down the first start. And it was number 24. Tommy Penfold and Liam Chivers that go into the lead with Terry and Luke Patchell in hot pursuit. Then it's 173. So that's really put the cat amongst the pigeons. I'm not too sure who, how the points stand on those front runners. And, and it, out goes number 24, Tommy Penfold and Liam Chivers. They go out with problems. Moore, and if my mathematics work correctly, John Fish and Gary Moore have only to finish there and stay ahead of Ernie Penfold to win the championship. Ernie's in one, two, three, four, fifth place at the moment, so the hot favourites have spread well apart. Ernie Penfold closing in on those in front of him but he doesn't seem to be making much impression so we've got number 188 Luke and uh, sorry Terry and Luke Patchell Terry and Luke Patchell coming around they're in full flight they're in the lead the winners this year on point and they know it their hands go in the air it's John Fish and Gary Moore Show your appreciation there. The winner of the final was 188 for the winner of the championship. There he is, the British champion, 1991, 173, John... Back in the line for the Barbara CC Sussex Super 1991 title. Here we go. Let's hope for a better start this time. Away they go. A nice even break. They're all on their way down to the first turn. Trevor Banks this time it is the lead. No mistakes out of the start this time for Trevor Banks. He leads the Cornishman Will James in second place. Then the local man from Canterbury. The Duncan Collins leads Trevor Banks. Will James. And Ricky Sanford. Duncan Collins. And away they go. Trevor Banks now increasing his lead over Will James. He's certainly got the bit between his teeth in this one. A lot of support I can hear for Will James, but it's Trevor Banks. Ricky Sanford causing a few moments there, and Duncan Collins gets back up into third place. Chris Tritton coming through from about six up to fourth and chasing up on the back wheel of Duncan Collins. So for the bank, just half a lap now from victory as he enters the last turn for the last time. Out goes the checkered flag. It's going to be a bank win. For the bank to take the 1991. Ricky Sanford, Steve Wilson, Paul Mitchell, Adrian Mower and Ben Howe. Well, that concludes the meeting this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Don't all run away. Don't all go home. Before you go, lift a stake out, take the rope off and lay it on the floor. If you will do one each, that'll do the club a big favour and we won't have so much to pull down tonight. So if you could, just help the club out by taking the rope off, pulling the stakes out. If you could put the stakes into some sort of a pile, it would really help because this field must be clear this afternoon before the GTSA leave. You must take all the equipment with them. So could you please help the club out by doing that? Here comes Trevor Banks, the winner of the 1991 Sussex Super Title. Trevor Banks, riding number two from Folkestone. Nice to see a home centre rider win.
Will Jones from Cornwall in second and Andy Riley all the way down from Cheshire in third. Shows what sort of field we've had here this afternoon. Riders from all parts of the country taking part. And the 500cc staying in the centre with Trevor Banks. John Fish and Gary Moore. British champions, 1991. John Fish and Gary Moore. What a calculated day's racing. They certainly made sure of that with that second place in the final. Champagne, laurel leaves, trophies, the lot. Too much to hold. Will Pete Ruffle get all that lot in on his zoom lens? <laughs> Magnificent trophy there for the British Championships. Ladies and gentlemen, your appreciation for John Fish and Gary Moore. Staying with the left hand sidecar fraternity and the Burt Smythe trophy for the top GTSA member crew home in the final. The first all GTSA member crew home in the final goes to Terry and Luke Patchell. Great days racing by those two, Terry and Luke Patchell, winners of the Burt Smythe trophy, 1991. <laughs> Staying with the sidecars. Staying with the sidecars then. The winners of the right hand is 1991 Sussex Super. Ing Racing, rustling and pull your ears. Let them through. Let the man through. Brilliant bit of racing. Third yes, this year in the Masters. First this year in the Sussex Super. Photographs coming. Very worthy winners. Photographs all round. Your appreciation then for rustling and all your ears. Moving into the sidecar classes and uh, the 250s first and first place, that man who seems to be always first, number 344, Mark Wadsworth. If they'd, let the, if they'd let Mark Wadsworth out of the caravan, he'd have flicked his laurels. 250 champion, Mark Wadsworth. Show your appreciation for a very fast rider here this afternoon. And Pete Ruffer's got trouble with his zoom lens. Well done, Mark Wadsworth. Thank you. The 350cc then. Man that needs no introduction to this place, I'm sure. Twice national 350 champion, world-class rider on the 500 as well, Andy Riley. <laughs> well done Andy Riley, show your appreciation for Andy there. And I haven't seen him yet, I don't know if he's got a cross from the pits or not, but we do by 1991, 500cc pass, Trevor Banks. <laughs> Thank you very much to Trevor Banks. Show your appreciation again, ladies and gentlemen. That's the end of the presentation for this afternoon. We hope to see you at the GTSA events next year.
for the 1992 rounds.